I was looking for a, a challenge in my life. I love my country and the military offered me a career that fit my personality. It's really tough because you see yourself as a certain type in your career, your lifestyle. And so when those things are degraded or when they're taken away from you, it really affects your self-perception. And in, as you reevaluate yourself, the, I think the focus tends to be not on what can I do, but what can't I do. Where it changed for, for me, my wife started telling me about the National Ability Center and different things that they offer. So I knew if Lane could get out there and try different things, that he would be a happier person. Because when someone is depressed and they've had actually their whole world collapse on him, I mean, he was an action guy that had his action taken away from him. So I just knew that there was a better life out there and it was through activity and doing things together as a family. I said, well, I'll go, but I'm not doing anything. I'll be, I'll, that'll be one nice long nap for me. I can't ride a bike. I can't shoot. Those things are over for me, but she knew better. And uh, so she kept at it. And she worked at that, and, and, and folks from the National Ability Center worked at that. And it's kind of that gentle encouragement to say, well, maybe you could try. But we finally came up as a family for a weekend. And we did a few of those things. And I, it took a little bit, but I was willing to try. And I, you know, I sucked at them, but I can still do it. And I'm still outside. It's still a beautiful day. And I'm with my family, and I'm doing things that are fun maybe I've been looking at this all wrong. And I think that really started me on the path back. I think what makes the National Ability Center unique is the ability for the families to come and to recreate together. There's, there's a lot of programs that will serve the veteran only or that will, will serve a, a part of the family, but very few of them will serve the whole family as a unit. The thing that the National Ability Center has to offer is families can come here, stay in the lodge together. They don't have to worry about the logistics, the travel. It's all inclusive. They come here. The staff is so patient and so knowledgeable and kind. I'm ready. We can set up the environment. We can create a place where they can be safe and where they can enjoy all the adaptive recreation. They taught me how to be a guide and taught him how to ski. And he can ski and we live in Utah. And he hadn't skied for 10 years because he didn't think he could. Oh, that's a, that's a group right there. And it's been amazing and incredible for our marriage and for our life and for our kids to see that dad could get better and be happy. What makes this job most memorable for me is, is when I get to see a husband and wife flirt again for the first time, or to get to see a young son throw his arms around his dad's neck again. The National Ability Center was the reason that we can do activities together, that Lane has hope. I think the National Ability Center is critical for men and women who have come back from a war with wounds. Our military programs are for everyone every branch of service, every era, and any injury, actually. Whatever circumstances you find yourself in that you think the National Ability Center can help with, we can. Come here with your family, come here with your friends, come here with mom, dad, come here with your spouse. We want to be a place where you can learn again that there is there is nothing that you can't do. I mean, your whole world opens up here. Ready for action. Now, I look at things as not, you know, what are my disabilities? But what are the things I can do? And that, that's really what it's all about, is that embracing life at whatever level you can, and those are abilities, not disabilities.